A pan balance is a tool used by scientists to compare and measure the mass of different types of matter. Let's learn how to use one. The first thing you want to do is make sure the pans are balanced. This pointer should be right in the middle. You can get eye level with the pans to be even more accurate. To compare two objects, simply place one on each side of the pan balance and observe. The objects we have today are a wooden block and a plastic block. I'm going to place the wooden block on one side and the plastic block on the other side. The more massive object will move the pan down and the less massive object will rise up. I observe the wooden block has more mass than the plastic block. But what if I want to take my observation further and compare their masses through measurement? Let's reset the balance and find out. Remember to check that the pans are balanced and the needle is straight down the middle. This may take a couple seconds. This time, we're going to use weights to measure each object's mass. Let's start with the wooden block. I have weights that measure 20 grams, 10 grams, 5 grams, and one gram. I always start my measurements with the heaviest weight and adjust from there. We are going to start with 20 grams. Nothing happens, so we're going to add another 20 grams. The needle's starting to move a little bit. Let's add a third 20 gram weight. That's too much. We're going to remove the third 20 gram weight and replace it with a 10 gram. The 10 gram is still too much. Let's replace it with a 5 gram weight. The 5 gram weight is too much. We're going to go down to the 1 gram weights. We are at 41 grams and we're getting really close to being balanced. Now we're at 42 grams when we add our next one. We're going to keep watching that needle. We want it right in the middle. It looks balanced. The wooden block has a mass of 42 grams. Now let's measure the plastic block. Clear the balance. And again, make sure that the needle is right down the middle so that we can start balanced. Put the plastic cube where the wooden cube was. Again, start with your heaviest weight and adjust from there. We're going to start with 20 grams. Nothing's happening, so let's add another 20 grams. That's too much. Let's replace a 20 gram with a 10 gram. That's too much as well. Let's replace the 10 with a 5. The 5 seems just right, but we're still not quite in the middle. If we add another 5, that's the same as a 10, and we already know that doesn't work. So we're going to place a 1. We're at 26 grams, 27 grams. 28 grams. We're watching the needle while we do this. 29 grams. And it looks like it's balanced. The plastic block has a mass of 29 grams. Now I can more accurately prove that the wooden block has more mass or is heavier than the plastic block.